it's Lexi Underwood and this is my everyday skincare routine and my girls night out makeup look. I use the Advanced Snail Mucin Gel Cleanser. TikTok has like definitely put me on when it comes to this. I use the Daily Microfoliant. I've been using it honestly for the past like six years, like since I really got into the groove of an actual skincare routine. It's like a powder type of vibe, see? The Fat Water Toner by Fenty. I've always been taught from a young age the importance of making sure that you take care of your skin. Even sometimes when I don't feel like washing my face after a long night out or, you know, a long night on set, I always remember the importance of doing it. I am absolutely obsessed with Dior Prestige. Advanced Serum because I love a good serum. Supergoop, sunscreen. Shout out to my Nana, because she was on tour with me when I did Lion King. She was the first person that like really helped me get into my skincare regimen and making sure that I was consistently like keeping up with it and that I was using all of the right products. My next step is a face roller. I'm gonna put a little bit more serum on just to make sure that it like properly glides whenever I'm doing my skincare or I'm doing my makeup routine. I make sure that I am saying my affirmation. I start my day by looking myself in the mirror and saying, I love you. My mom used to hold me up to the mirror like before I could even talk and would say, I love you. And she's instilled that in me for so long. So let's do it together because I haven't said I love you on the mirror today. I look in the mirror, I love you. Being an actor, it's so easy to kind of like be hard on yourself, but I try not to be. I naturally have kind of like dark under eye circles. So I make it a point to put eye mask on every day. The Laneige lip mask. It is time to get into the makeup look. I'm gonna throw on my headband to make sure that I don't get any makeup on my edges. I love New Derma, their brow seal. When I was 13, I believe I tried to do my own brows and it went very left, very fast. I think I shaved off like <laughs> a good chunk and they were really thin as well. And it's quite funny because especially with Cool Summer, you know, Y2K, all of the eyebrow looks, they were kind of like thin eyebrows and so when they asked me to tweeze my eyebrows i was like absolutely not we are going to get into the eyeshadow look first i'm going to prime my eyes with my concealer this bad guy on the pat mcgrath moonshine palette a nice little base because i'm gonna go for a red kind of smoky eye vibe for tonight so i want to add the brown tones in first I'm gonna go in with this red right here. Topicals eye cream. I use Luminous Silk by Armani. I absolutely love how this feels on my skin. Like when I was 13, that's like really when I discovered like the importance of finding a shade that matches for you. And for a good, you know, top of my career, honestly, I was kind of doing my own makeup on set um, because nobody could like really just get it right when it came to my, my shade. And so for my next step, I do the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. We love Rihanna, she's incredible. Of course, like she made one of the first inclusive skincare and makeup brands and everything that she does is just so inspiring. When it comes to like, I feel like idols are people that I look up to. She's definitely one of them. I opened my own production company up when I was 15. I was inspired by Regina King and Megan Good because I had just worked with them that same year. Both of those women have their own production companies and they're directing and producing as well as acting. And so being able to see them in their element and talk to them and have them kind of as mentors guiding me through the process and understanding the importance of making sure that us as women specifically 
and women of color are also making and calling shots behind the scenes to ensure that, you know, we are moving forward in the right direction when it comes to inclusive storytelling. Do a double concealer vibe. Um, I'm first gonna go in with the NARS color corrector. The red counteracts the blue. Dior concealer. Like the best advice that I've been given um, after working with so many incredible people, specifically with Carrie, Reese, and Viola, all three of them kind of like essentially taught me the same thing, which is like being your character's keeper, your character's advocate, and then also um, just the importance of speaking up and being your own biggest advocate on set. NARS setting powder. I try not to use a lot because I don't want to look too matte. Anastasia contour kit. This makeup artist that I worked with like a year ago, she taught me this trick on making sure that your nose contour looks natural. Cause I've always just, you know, been blending it out with the brush, like how I apply it. I go in with my fingers. I love blush, I'm a blush girl. Mascara. I usually am a lash extensions girl, but I'm giving my lashes a bit of a break right now just so that they can get healthy and full again. It's time to go in and do the lips. Makeup by Mario Liner. Dior Lip Oil. I feel like everybody like uses these. They're just so great. I'm going in with the color mahogany. I use this as an everyday gloss going out. I have at least like three different shades. All right, I am ready for my girls night. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys got some tips and tricks. Bye y'all.